No, I mean, th these are the, the routine engagements that any First Minister should have been undertaking from day one. And, well, we don't want to, to dismiss that she's doing it this now. Uh, Foster is out of time for a personal journey this slow. If she wants to, to signal change at this stage, let alone deliver it, we need to see some proper public soul searching about the mistakes that unionism has made and that she has made. Uh, not, not as a, a sackcloth and ashes demand, but because I think that people respond to that, they, they respect it, and it can, it can really move politics on. DUP leaders have done it before. Uh, Peter Robinson and Ian Paisley demonstrated true change uh, and, and, and managed to, to make that very convincing to their base. There was an emotional content to it. People really believed it. They appeared to, to be pained in, in the changes they were making. So there's no, there's no danger to Arlene Foster from, uh, fr from, from doing that. But photo ops, um, you know, smiles and handshakes with, 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 with no content behind them and no emotional content behind them, they're not going to work. Mm. How do you think things will ultimately play as far as this concerned? What is your, what's your hunch, Deirdre? Well, I think people will see this as a, a gesture. And even though this is the person who said I'm not interested but in politics. But a gesture is not politics. necessarily a dirty word, is it? No, no, a gesture is a step in the right direction. Right. But I think after that you have to have, so we've already heard that they're not going to change their policies. Every political party changes their policies. They listen, the world changes, you listen, you take soundings. You well, cannot you be you in don't an absolute... You don't expect the DUP to change its well, position on same-sex marriage, I, do you? Well, I don't think you can be in an absolute position. They may not change their personal position. But if you listen to the discussions we've heard this week about abortion, you've heard Sinn Féin saying at their conference that personally they mightn't agree with it, but they believe as legislators they have to do what the public want and not be out of step with public opinion. Northern Ireland Life and Time survey and a raft of other surveys have said that the public want change, that 70% of the public think that we are out of step in terms of social issues. And look at Arlene Foster and how she compares with Ruth Davidson, another leader of unionism, but a very, very different leader.